Well, I got it set up, so hopefully you can see me do this, take it out, and we're just gonna place it on the chair right now, and then I'll show you step-by-step -step on how to replace your water pump uh, kit. And when you're doing this, I mean, granted, it's better to have two people, I'm by myself right now, but raise your motor up, because it's when it's down all the way and you go to loosen this up, you're not gonna have any uh, gap in between the roadway and uh, the bottom of your motor right there. You can already see it starts to loosen at the moment. So a lot of people will actually take the prop off because it ends up, you know, lightening it up a lot. I don't really think you have to unless you think that you have issues with it, but uh, that you can see one person can end up grabbing that and moving it, but it's definitely got some weight to it. All right, now that we got it sitting right there in our kit, you have an impeller right here. That's an old one from the other one new o-rings new gaskets um and it actually has new bolts on here which are going to be replacing these they're all 10 millimeter right here this shaft right here again it's not a must but i would absolutely recommend it is taking a wire brush and cleaning it up a little bit and one more thing is when you put the new impeller on and i'm kind of getting ahead of myself right now it's going to be really stiff, that new rubber coming down the shaft right here. If you have Vaseline, some sort of ointment, rub it down on the shaft all throughout here, and it will just sit down very uh, tightly, but it'll also be very smooth when it comes down as well too. So let's go ahead and take these four bolts off. Now, I think I said right before I started doing this, it's 10 millimeter corrected. It is a 12 millimeter that takes these off. Uh, so once you get all four of these off, what you're gonna do is wanna take this plastic piece off. And sometimes, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, it gets stuck in there. Just gotta take a flathead and kinda get right up underneath it on each spot. Yeah, you can start to see it come up. And the impeller will be right underneath. So, once you got that off, this is kind of a pain as well too. You're probably going to have to end up uh, prying it with a flathead as well. This little uh, metal circle piece. You don't want to bend that though, because they do not have replacements. At least in the kit, they don't. So let's see if we can get that done. All right, it's been a few days. Um, this ring right here, absolutely sucked the first motor i was able to get it off the second one i just could not get it banged up my knuckles i mean it's starting to heal up right now 
So what I ended up doing is I actually just ordered a new ring uh, through Amazon, it's $20. And you can see right here, I just took a Dremel tool saw and cut right here, avoiding cutting the shaft. But this brings me back to another recommendation. Um, I'd probably recommend just buying an extra one just to be safe in case you run into the same problem. 20 bucks still saves a lot of money. Now that that's off, let's get to it. Once you get that ring off, you're going to end up taking the impeller, making sure you remember which direction it's facing. And this one, it may take some time. It's going to be stiff a little bit, so you may need to actually pry it with a flathead screwdriver just to get it started. And then it will come off just like so. And you're going to see an indent in the shaft right there. It's going to line up with the indent of the impeller right there. So you really can't get it wrong because you only have one indent on one side. Um, the kit actually comes with a new gasket and a plate. You don't have to change it. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but since it came with it, you might as well go ahead and replace it. Take a flathead screwdriver. There we go. Slide it right off. That's what it looks like in the kit over here. It comes with both. Just like so. And slide it up back up. And you can't miss it because these two metal indents will actually hold everything in place. Um, excuse me, because I'm again I'm doing this one-handed. Alright, so we got the old impeller here and we got the new impeller here. What you're going to want to do is actually take a little bit of some sort of ointment, uh, Vaseline, and just put a tad bit on your finger and put it on the inside of it. Because with it being brand new, it is going to be a pain getting it down the shaft. And I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing is I'm just taking a tad bit and just putting it right around the shaft as well too. Um, doesn't take much, just enough, so it makes it a lot easier to get down. So, right before I showed you, there is a indent in here, you can see right here, right there. It's cut out on this side, but not this side. That's the side at the bottom. So, I'm going to take it and... Oh yeah, much better. And we're gonna line up the indent. Otherwise, it will not sit flush. There it is. And I probably don't have the camera set up right, but you know it's right because that's the only way that it's gonna sit perfectly flush. Here's the old one facing that direction. I'm just gonna put it right there just so you have a visual. Take the new ring and in order to get it inside you're going to have to spin the shaft uh, clockwise so that when it spins these get indented and go inside so it's facing the same direction and it is important to make sure that it goes the proper direction so once you got your impeller on take your three washer rings put them on top your new plastic ring I'm sure they probably have a better name to them, um, but so you don't have to know them, I will put a link in the description below. Here's your metal ring. That was such a pain. We actually had to cut it off on top of this. And I do believe, um, and again, I'm not an expert. This is just showing you that, hey, look, you know, anybody can do these, um, is that it's going to stop all the knocking uh, from it going up and down. I don't know if it's true or not. I just know it's supposed to be there. So. Hey, if I can do it again, you can do it.